What's up, welcome to another video starring your guy, John Hill. Today we are in New York City. We are experiencing this beautiful place, but I did have an idea for a series that I might start on my channel. I've been doing a lot of sponsor reviews lately and people seem to be hyped on them. Not only do I want to incorporate footage of some people who are just trying to come up in skateboarding and showcase them on my channel, but I also want to review some sponsor me tapes of people like P-Rod or Nigel Houston or Andy Schrock, just some random characters who have sponsor me tapes online that maybe most people haven't seen yet. So right now we're gonna watch some of the oldest footage I could find online of Paul Rodriguez. And there's a second part to this series, so stay tuned after the review to see what that is. All right, so without further ado, let us watch this. Sponsor me tape, Paul Rodriguez, 1999. Plan, okay, so Plan B posted this, nice. All right, wow, this footage looks brand new. No. What the hell was that? What was that? Okay, so there's some glitches with this first video. Whatever, it's still playing. Um, okay. I think it was a lot different giving sponsor tapes back then. Starting off with a nose blunt 270. Jesus Christ, that's insane. Skating a hip, not like a backside flip. Half cap croak shift. He's always like, I feel like he's always been good at the tricks that I don't do. They're more like old school tricks. Hard to explain, but. Skating the stairs. Nice, nice. I can't tell. Okay, so here's the thing. With crooked grinds and nose grinds, now they're so much different. If you're grinding on the wrong part of the actual truck for the trick, then it's a whole different trick. Like, if you're pinched on your toe side on the truck, it's technically a crooked grind. If you're not, it's a nose grind. So back in the day, they didn't have that. If you were just nose grinding and your board was turned a little bit, it was considered a crooked grind. Anyways, evolution. Even P-Rod nowadays is like, I'm trying to do crooks instead of the nose grinds that I grew up doing. Switch nose manual to nose blood. Growing up in California with those plastic benches, luckiest moment. Have to have pillar face dive. It's crazy because the benches all look really tall for him. And I don't think he skates small stuff. I'm pretty sure it actually is like kind of tall. Damn, nose right now. Backyard ledge. This one right here. See like that. I don't know if that was a crook or a nose guy. Dope, dope. Switchback tail, oh my god. I feel like that's just the evolution of who he is as a skater. Switchback tail, now he can do every combination of that. Damn, he's so little, it's insane. This is a year before I started skating. Skating the handrails, okay, okay. I don't think he's like much of a handrail skater, but he can definitely do some stuff on him. Switch blunt one of the tables again. Damn, that's crazy. It looked, it's so tall for him. Nice. <laughs> the, the vignette on the lens is so crazy. <laughs> that was sick. Another example of the crook nose grind thing. Sick. He's so good at nose blunts and blunts. Huh. Like, I never see him do those two tricks now, so it's kind of cool to see what tricks he did back then. Oh, switch tray. He does those all day now. Sick. <laughs> What's that, a three stair handrail? Damn, that was sick. Cameraman started following him, and he was like, that's all I got right now. Damn. Yeah. That was crazy. That was the first ledge that actually looked appropriate size for him. And that, that's it, all right, cool. But the second part to these videos is that I will actually go to a skate park and try to attempt to film every single one of these tricks as close as I can replicate it at whatever skate park I'm at, all in one session. The idea is to see how much I can do. I don't think that I'll be able to do every single trick because yeah, I, I don't know, I don't have that much energy. <laughs> So we just showed up to McCarran Skate Park, but it rained yesterday, and not only did this happen to my board, but the skate park itself is super wet, so I don't know how much I can get in, but the idea is to see how many tricks in these video parts I can do in one session. It could be one, and then maybe it could be the whole thing sometimes, but I'm gonna try all these tricks. There's a lot that I've never done before, so this should be hard. Oh, and my bearings are completely ruined.
right, let me reenact since my camera's a piece of shit. I fell really, really hard, destroyed my hip, broke my board. End of that, because this skate park has puddles every single place. My board is completely cracked up. My bearings are completely ruined because of the water yesterday. So I was basically at one third percentage of what I could be. Still did a decent amount of tricks on the thing, but uh, I didn't complete it. For one session though, I'm not super upset at that, but I do have a broken board and I'm, I'm gonna go home and finish this uh, after my anger sort of drifts away. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun skateboarding and I actually learned a few tricks, but my body is in agony, which actually feels awesome. Sometimes you need inspiration from other people to see what you're capable of. And today I, uh, I learned that I could do a, a few new tricks. But I wanted to wrap up this video with a little conversation about Progress Daily and a quote. People have been asking about a restock in Progress Daily, but it's not something that I plan on restocking. I think the fall line will be coming out in about two weeks or so, so I'm super excited about that. But I'm finally turning Progress Daily into the brand and the idea that I want, because I had to be in New York City first. I had to find a home base, and I'm using local help to sort of craft it into this business idea that I have. And the most exciting part is this new business idea actually doesn't bring me any profit. It's sort of my way of finally trying to turn it into the helpful brand that I've been wanting to turn it into. I never know what it will eventually be, but that's the point, right? You, you build things as you go along, and for me, luckily, I have people to share that process with because I know a lot of you also want to pursue businesses and ideas and for me this idea has finally hit a point where I'm very proud of what the brand is gonna be but who knows what it'll be in, in two years from there or three years from there uh, I'm just excited to see it grow the whole idea of the brand in the first place was to put out an idea progress daily try to be better every single day even if it's a little bit even if it's a helpful progression if sleeping in is helpful to you that is part of progressing if it makes you in your opinion closer to your goal for happiness I think trying to achieve happiness is probably the best the best way to go about life anyways it all leads me to this quote by Lao Tzu kindness in words creates confidence kindness in thinking creates profoundness kindness in giving creates love 
All I know is that this guy is smart and if he believes kindness is this important, then I'm gonna try to implement that as much as I can. So tune in tomorrow for another video because I'll be trying to do these every single day for the next couple weeks. Just try my damnedest. Guys, love you so much. Progress daily and keep killing it.